Hello YouTubers and uh, thank you for joining us on this video here on this brand new channel Pat Testing Guru where we are aiming just to give you some basics about pat testing, um, some knowledge around the test, the varying different types of tests and what the tests do and things to look out for with pat testing whether you're a new pat tester or a seasoned pat tester hopefully these videos will help you out. So today we're going to start things off we're going to be pat testing and showing you how to pat test um, one of these cables um, known as a kettle lead to some people but the formal name is an IEC cable or a power cable or detachable mains lead something like that you'll commonly find them on computers in offices uh, monitors um, printers that sort of thing um, but then they'll also be used on other things like uh, speakers for DJs or um, party lights or things like that so this is going to be showing you a very quick video on how to pat test one of these leads so the first thing we will do is carry out a visual inspection um, and on this particular lead it has a moulded plug um, so it's a sealed unit. Um, the only thing that can be inspected on this plug is the fuse. Um, so you can take the fuse cover off there. This particular one has a 5 amp fuse. Okay. Normally on this type of lead you'd expect to see probably a 3, 5 or 10 amp maximum fuse. Um, but for things like PCs, monitors, you'd expect to see a 3 or 5 amp fuse. Um, we'll be doing a little feature, another video about fuses as there are some kind of fake counterfeit, not up to British standard fuses out there. And I'll do that in another video um, shortly for you. So you'll be able to watch that and uh, find out a little bit about fuses. Um, some mains cables you might come across may have a standard plug that you're used to seeing with a detachable plug top um, just by unscrewing it. Um, so you just want to check inside that all the cables are inserted in the correct terminals. Um, so you have the live, neutral and the earth there at the top. This particular one has a 13 amp fuse, um, but this is for just a random cable for a different appliance. So don't worry about that too much. Just ensure that the cord grip is tightened as well. Um, and then also what you want to check on the IEC, on the power cables, especially the ones with the mouldy plugs. You just want to check that the earth cable um, has a solid metal pin and you just want to check as well that they're insulated pins on the live and the neutral. Um, there are a lot of um, substandard power cables out there where you'll see an insulated earth pin as well. If you see one of those, you just want to ditch it and get rid of it. Okay, so once we've uh, carried out the formal vision inspection, we'll now go on to the uh, inspection that we do uh, mechanical tests using the PAT tester. This one here is the Seawood Apollo. Um, you may have a different PAT tester, but they're all designed to do similar sort of thing. Um, so we'll plug in the cable here. Now I've set my machine up um, to match um, the cable thickness as well because they'll have different earth continuity um, allowances for the thickness and the length of the cable. So this particular cable that I'm testing today is a 0.75 millimeter um, flex, uh, three core flex, uh, live, neutral and earth. So we're going to carry out the test by plugging this into the machine. And um, what the machine is going to do first of all is we'll just confirm that we've done the visual test and then we'll save. And then the first test we'll carry out is the IEC uh, earth continuity test. So that's a pass there. Then it will carry out an insulation test and that's a pass. And then all importantly, it will carry out a polarity test as well. Um, so the earth continuity test is just basically how it sounds really, just checking that there's continuity of the earth through the cable. The insulation test is um, uh, an extra test which basically um, passes a um, current, passes a voltage. Um, it crosses the earth and the neutral pins um, and then it checks whether there's any degradation of the cable uh, inside, any loss of um, resistance, which might mean that um, any current um, may be exposed to the user 
um, during the use. Uh, and then it carries out the polarity check. So it just carries out um, to check that the live and neutral or indeed the earth is um, wired correctly inside the plug. Um, and that is basically how to pat test a IEC power cable. If you've got any questions, please leave a comment. If you want to see any videos of any specific pat tests or any specific items, please leave a message in the comments. And we'll see you soon for the next video. Don't forget to subscribe and click on the bell icon and you'll get notifications of new videos that come out. Thanks for watching.